This week on Access Virginia Beach, summer is almost here. We'll show you how to stay safe at the beach. Plus, they're breaking ground on a school that will soon be the greenest of its kind in the state. Find out where. And see what makes these police officers lifesavers. That and more are coming up as we access Virginia Beach. Hello and welcome to VBTV's Access Virginia Beach, a program that informs you of news and events from around our city and schools. I'm Peter Van Heest, and thanks for joining us. Virginia Beach is known for its miles and miles of sand and surf. In fact, our city is home to the longest pleasure beach in the world. Keeping all those swimmers safe may seem like a daunting task, but for EMS lifeguards in Sandbridge, it's all in a day's work. You know, public beaches, you know, we feel it's really, really important to have life-saving services, especially on the beach, so people feel safe. They can bring their kids down. They know that they're experienced lifeguards um, that watch their kids. From Marketplace all the way down to Little Island Park, there are a total of 11 staff lifeguard stands located on the beaches of Sandbridge. Our lifeguarding hours are from 9.30 to 6 every day, um, from Memorial Day weekend, the Saturday of, till Labor Day weekend, the Monday of. So we're out here from 9.30 to 6. Uh, we have three supervisors that are on the beach. Each lifeguard is tested and trained under strict standards. We have to do several classes concerning ocean rescue and CPR classes, first aid classes, everything that you could possibly think could go wrong on the beach, we have to be prepared. The Department of Emergency Medical Services runs the lifeguard services in Sandbridge and Little Island. And it also manages the lifeguard contract for the resort beaches. For more information on EMS lifeguarding services, log on to VABeachEMS.com. And while you're out enjoying the cool waters of the Atlantic this summer, remember that it is hurricane season and winds and currents can be deceiving. Here's a tip that can help both you and the lifeguards. Be wary of riptides. A riptide is a strong channel of water flowing seaward from near the shore. Swimmers caught in a riptide should not attempt to swim back to shore directly against the rip. This can cause exhaustion and drowning. Instead, remain calm and swim parallel to the shore until out of the current. Last Friday, the Virginia Beach Police Department hosted its annual award ceremony at the Law Enforcement Training Academy. Every year, we come together to publicly recognize and reward individuals, both uniformed and civilian for extraordinary acts of heroism. On this special occasion, we take the time to thank these men and women, the true heroes of our community. Mayor Sessoms led the cheers for the ceremony that paid tribute to the gallant efforts of officers and civilians. Many actions performed by these individuals involved bravery, courage, and selflessness. Part of the, uh, of the great uh, greatness of this job is being surrounded by heroes and uh, I've often said that we can't do our job alone. We've got to have the support and uh, dedication from our community and citizen members. And today uh, you will hear about uh, specific acts of citizen involvement that have helped us uh, as we help others. And you'll also hear about the, uh, the braveness uh, exhibited by many of the men and women of this department. Chief Jake Jaycox recognized 39 department members and seven citizens for their extraordinary efforts. Family and friends attended as these 46 award recipients were honored for their dedication to public service. Virginia Beach is one of the safest cities of its size in the country because of the actions of the police department and its citizens. Virginia Beach Television recorded the ceremony and will rebroadcast it later on this month. Just log on to vbgov.com slash vbtv for dates and times. And now, how about a pause for the cause? For more than 30 years, the one-story building at Leroy Road has been known simply as animal control. But now, many years later, they are pleased to announce a name change. Take a look at the Virginia Beach Animal Care and Adoption Center. The name was changed to re-energize the staff, reconnect the shelter with the community, and reflect the city's commitment to homeless pets. 
The center is also keeping up with technology and has joined the social networking sites Facebook and Twitter. So, log on and find them today. Of course, there are always many pets waiting for homes at the center. Log on to vbgov.com slash animal control for more information. College Park Elementary was first built back in 1972. Now, many years later, the elementary school is gearing up for another big transformation. What a beautiful day for us to be together here for our groundbreaking for our new school. It was a special day for the students and staff at College Park. In about a year, they'll be moving into a brand new $21 million LEED Platinum Green building. Which means it's environmentally friendly and energy efficient. And we are so excited to be the first platinum school in the state of Virginia. Of course, celebrations included the ceremonial groundbreaking, as well as a unique song from the second graders. You will be proud of the new facility. Uh, you're fully accredited now. We expect and know that you will continue to be fully accredited. New building, new facilities, new wires, new technology. The new building will include state-of-the-art computer lab and library media center, as well as rooftop gardens. It's going to be a two-story building. They're building it in the back of our property now, and then this area will become a beautiful park setting for the College Park community as well. The new building is expected to officially open in September of 2011. They give knowing that they'll get little more than self-satisfaction in return. This army of unsung heroes saves the citizens of Virginia Beach more than most will ever realize. We had 18,000 last year who provided $18 million worth of services. They beautify the city. This is a row of purple turnips, and I'm thinning them. They provide emergency response services. And they even educate citizens and visitors in the city of Virginia Beach. This is a little hermit crab. Okay. He lives inside the shell. They are volunteers. In 1978, it was their very, our city was just a fledgling and anew. And it, everybody was coming in for services and they wanted everything and they didn't have to do anything. And, and so we figured that, you know, there's no way that city can be all things to all people. So maybe people ought to start helping and partnering, partnering with the city to provide services that they need and want. So the city approved a volunteer council that's been contributing to city services ever since. Of course, our pride and joy is EMS and the aquarium, libraries, uh, uh, parks and recreation. And today, the city's volunteer program provides enough manpower to fill more than 600 city staff positions. If you equate that to how much that would be in terms of additional taxes, you, you can figure out that you're talking, you know, probably six, five or six cents on the real estate tax that, that, that's avoided because we have volunteers doing these various jobs. For some, volunteering offers a path of growth. It's just worth it because it's new experiences, new people every day. You get to learn different life lessons, public speaking, anything like that that will help you in the future. And for others, it's a way to give back after a lifetime of learning. I feel good when I walk away. I, I really feel like I've done something to help these people. But whatever the reason is, Virginia Beach is setting the trend. We have over 30 different departments using volunteers. I think that's after I do not know of any other city in this area or in the country that does what we do. They're extremely valuable. And it, it's part of what makes Virginia Beach a unique place to live and a lot different than, than other communities in Hampton Roads. Volunteers work side by side with city employees in more than 30 city departments. Opportunities like these offer citizens a chance to participate in city government and add to the services available to citizens while helping to reduce taxes overall. Log on to vbgov.com for more information on how you can volunteer in Virginia Beach. Coming up next on Access Virginia Beach, got plans for the summer? We'll help you fill out the family calendar. Plus, find out why these dancers are jamming for our homeless. We'll have that and more when we return.
Virginia Beach Schools Parent Connection is your one-stop resource for information and events which support families and promote student success. Would you like to learn to shape your child's behavior with rewards rather than with negative consequences? If so, then plan to participate in an informative webinar on June 17th from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. This live, interactive webinar will be extremely beneficial to parents of strong-willed children, to caregivers, educators, and anyone else who works with children. The presenter is Mark Lakewood, CEO of Building Strong Families National Seminars, a distinguished parenting expert, author, and speaker. For more information and to register, call 800-777-0955. Are you having conflict with your co-parent? If so, attend a cooperative co-parenting class on June 19th at the Mediation Center of Hampton Roads from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Parents will learn how to build an effective parenting relationship, make their children's needs their first priority, and learn how to avoid behaviors which may increase the stress that children experience during family challenges. In addition, this class satisfies juvenile and domestic relations court requirements. To learn more about these activities or to see a complete calendar of June events, visit the Parent Connection page of vbschools.com. Virginia Beach Police receive 200,000 calls for service a year. Unfortunately, many of those calls turn out to be a false alarm from businesses and homes protected by automated systems. To reduce the number of false alarm calls, the City of Virginia Beach has adopted two new laws. The first requires all Virginia Beach businesses and homeowners with monitored security systems to register with the police. The second regulation establishes a fee for excessive false alarms. Security system users will be allowed two false alarms that bring police response. The third and any subsequent false alarm will result in a fee of $150 for homeowners and $250 for businesses. Failing to register or pay false alarm response fees may place the location in a no response category, meaning police units may not respond to future alarms until that location is compliant. To register, download and print out the form and then mail it in. Registration of alarm systems provides officers with valuable information about the location. For more information, contact the Virginia Beach False Alarm Reduction Unit at 385-1739 or email FAU at vbgov.com. Welcome back to Access Virginia Beach. I'm Peter Van Heest. Virginia Beach is committed to providing citizens with higher educational opportunities that are easily accessible. Now, thanks to a new campus in the Central Business District, students are one step closer to achieving their goals. South University is glad to be in Virginia Beach. The mayor, along with community members, uh, gathered to dedicate South University, a new 32,000 square foot campus. People in Virginia Beach expect world-class cultural, recreation, and learning opportunities for all ages and interest. We are a community of lifelong learners from business administration to nursing, the new campus will prepare students for diverse employment opportunities. The university is in Virginia Beach to change the lives of our students, students that will have access to higher education and all of the, the benefits that higher learning brings to them. South University is located on the first two floors of the Convergence Center 4 near Town Center. It features a distance learning center health science labs, and small class sizes. The school is offering nine different programs of study for starters. Of course, before students can attend a college, they must do one important thing, graduate from high school. And the sounds of the season will soon fill the air as high school commencement ceremonies honor graduating seniors. And no matter where you are, you can watch all Virginia Beach High School graduations online. That's because, once again, the Virginia Beach School Division offers you TroopTube, live streaming video of local high school graduations. Just log on to vbschools.com for a schedule and access to the live webcast. And if you prefer uh, televised viewing of your graduation ceremony, you have two options. Graduation ceremonies will air right here on VBTV. They'll begin airing the end of June, beginning of July, or... You can hold on to the memories of your graduation with the purchase of a professional quality DVD for just $20. Make your check or money order out to City Treasurer and mail it to VBTV. The school year may be winding down, but it's never too early to start planning for next year. Part of that preparation includes deciding on what direction to take your studies. 
and the school division is making it a little easier on students by offering specialized academies and programs. When we look at the needs of students today, the traditional high school just doesn't work for everybody. For some students, being able to study through an area of interest is what will truly motivate them. And offering academies and advanced academic programs is a way the school division is reaching out to those students. What we've really tried to do through these extended learning opportunities, these advanced uh, academic programs and academy programs, is offer students choices, offer parents choices, really for students to be able to explore, for instance, in the academies, explore and learn through a topic or a theme that is of interest to them. The division offers five academy programs with studies ranging from health sciences and legal studies to visual and performing arts and technology. Two advanced academic programs focus on the international baccalaureate studies and a math and science curriculum. And while they all have a different concentration, the long-term goals are the same. To engage, to challenge, to motivate students so that they achieve at the highest level possible, both in their high school experience and beyond, whether they go into the workforce or they go on to college, that they are successful. For more information on the Academy programs, log on to vbschools.com. This week on VBTV's Access Virginia Beach Family Calendar, celebrate Independence Day at Mount Trashmore with a day of family fun and, of course, plenty of fireworks. Festivities begin on Sunday, July 4th at 4 p.m. with children's activities, live music, and fireworks start at 9.30 p.m. Also at Mount Trashmore, Friday movie nights are back. Pack up the family, bring a picnic blanket, and plenty of goodies for the first movie night of the summer. The Spiderwick Chronicles will be playing on the big screen on June 18th. The movie starts at sunset, but bring the kids early for children's activities starting at 7.30 p.m. And finally, for all you music lovers out there, Sandstock, a beach-inspired variation on Woodstock, is coming to town. Boogie on out to the oceanfront stages at 17th, 24th, and 31st Streets on June 25th through the 27th. And get your groove on. Even the king himself gets in on the act Sunday night. Games and activities for all ages round out this blast from the past. The oceanfront makes the perfect backdrop for many celebrations, including a party that was held at the oceanfront Hilton recently to raise funds for the homeless. And party they did as Guava Jam raised the roof while jamming for our homeless. The get-together, sponsored by Beach Events, was a three-part partnership to raise funds for the homeless. All the money we raise here tonight is going to uh, directly benefit um, people who are either homeless to help them get out of homelessness or help ameliorate their situation. 300 people attended and donated more than $12,000. City Council has adopted a 10-year plan to end homelessness, and Mayor Sessom spoke and thanked all the sponsors the band and the attendees. Folks, we got some talented people in this city and we're going to work together with the faith-based and the non-profits and we're going to come together we're going to fix this thing. The event also helped raise awareness of the Beach Partnership, a community partnership between the city, businesses, non-profits and area churches. Uh, tonight's event is really a product of six weeks worth of coming together. It's happened so fast. And the Hilton Hotel has been benevolent enough to give us uh, the Grand Ballroom and the opportunity here. The band playing tonight, Guava Jam, they're free uh, in terms of their time and their talent. And we're going to have hundreds of people tonight who are coming out in, in raising awareness. We're going to be able to make a big dent quickly tonight in getting people to understand what's going on, what is being done, and what more can be done for our homeless in our city, and it's our shared responsibility. More than $38,000 in sponsorships were obtained, and $900 was raised online. All proceeds will help the homeless. For more information about Beach, please visit beachcp.org. And with that, we've come to the end of our show. But if you've missed something or would like to see it again, you can view this program online. Log on to vbgov.com slash eStream. Then find and click on Access Virginia Beach. And for everyone here at VBTV, I'm Peter Van Heest. 
and thanks for watching. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Oh boy, thank you. You make me feel so young. Pink young. Pass it on. You make me feel so spring has sprung.